it decided to work, I think. <laughs> okay, so here's what's been going on. The Today, the president talked about how now, um, uh, well, besides other things, he talked about how he was going to be um, auctioning off the airplanes and the helicopters and all that. But at some point during the uh, conference, somebody uh, mentioned that certain governors were refusing to honor the uh, uh, new law, the constitutional law that said that uh, everyone uh, in the um, Mexican country uh, has uh, access to free medical care, medications, education. But there's certain governors that were used to uh, taking basically the money that was allotted for medical care, uh, medications, um, supplies, equipment, hospitals. Many of them were used to basically, how shall we say, um, keeping the money for themselves, maybe diverting the funds somehow and buying homes and other countries, the U.S., uh, big properties in Mexico for themselves, all kinds of stuff. But the president has made the money available to the hospitals um, and to the uh, students and all that. Um, the funds that are going to the elderly, um, the students, uh, grants, retirement funds, all of that now goes directly to the people. But in the case of the uh, medical care, uh, what's happening is even though the president has allotted and given them the, uh, how shall I say, the budget, uh, they have refused uh, to comply um, and sign uh, an agreement that said that that uh, their people could have the, um, you know, the free medical care and all that. So basically, they continue to try to charge people. And so the people complained, and uh, they brought it to his attention. So let me go ahead and let you see what the president had to say about this. Oh, and by the way, I'll translate it to English, okay? So here it goes. Aquí les adelanto que así como tenemos el quién es quién en los precios de combustible, cada semana vamos a tener un informe sobre el plan de salud pública. Okay, so he says, I'm letting you know in advance, just like we have the who's who in gas prices, which by the way, every Monday, the president has a who's who of what gas stations are charging the best prices, the highest prices in every area, like premium, uh, unleaded, um, diesel, LP, which is that home gas in the little tank, um, oh, all that stuff. So anyway, they have a who's who, who's doing the best. And then, you know, at a certain point, they get awarded or they get to put a banner saying that they got... Um, you know, that they were named one of the best, you know, the best prices for this many months, etc. But there's also those that um, were caught uh, stealing. Uh, they had rakes, what they call rakes, where they skim a little off the top. And uh, also there was some that um, had, uh, well, there was uh, all kinds of, there is all kinds of ways that they were ripping people off, maybe not giving liter per liter, uh, the hoses were designed to not really give the amount. It was just all kinds of things. Uh, and some of them were just, uh, maybe there could have been human error. There could have been um, injury to the pumps or, you know, so there maybe some of them were legit. But a lot of them uh, were taken to the, the, they had judicial punishment, okay? So let's say that it was legal and there was fines and there was lots of money collected in fines, by the way. 
Anyway, so the money they thought they were going to save, they wound up paying in fi uh, fines. So also, he was trying to encourage competition uh, in gas prices and all that. So, and there's places that have only one gas station, so they're going to uh, be uh, encouraging people to apply for licenses uh, to open up uh, businesses, gas stations, and they're going to facilitate it for them so that there'll be healthy competition because they don't want any monopolies. That's against the constitution of the uh, Mexican uh, constitution. They're, they're not supposed to have monopolies. Okay, so the other thing is, uh, he was saying, that just like they do uh, every Monday with the who's who on gas prices, they're going to be doing that with health care. So they're going to be naming names. Who exactly has been denying their people, their constituents, the right to free health care? Um, because voting is going to be coming pretty soon. Um I don't think they're going to want to be on that list. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see who uh, who wins this little tug of war. Uh, so anyway, here goes. So he says that he's going to be letting people know exactly what's going on in the who's who of um, um, medical care. Un día a la semana. Oh, one day a week. Para... <clears throat> que la gente eh, nos ayude so that the people will help us to inform us si hay médicos en los hospitales if there's enough no. uh, if there's enough doctors in the hospitals or not qué médicos faltan what doctors do we still need en qué hospitales what hospitals require these el abasto de medicinas. Is there enough medications? En el estado de las instalaciones. The state of the um, hospitals or medical facilities. The, the state of the facilities. Y van a venir aquí. And they'll be coming here, he said. Eh, los servidores públicos del sector salud. So he's going to have the uh, public servants that work in the public health sector. They're going to come to the conference. Hasta el primero de diciembre, ¿qué pensamos? Va a quedar ya establecido. And so we believe, he says, that by December it will be established. El sistema de salud. The system for health care. Eh, público. That's public. Eh, de calidad. High quality. Y gratuito. And free. Y van a trabajar los servidores públicos ayer llegamos a este acuerdo. And the public servants will work. And yesterday we came to this agreement. 24 horas. 24 hours. Por turno. Each turn or each shift. O sea, no solo enfermeras, médicos, por turno, sino los servidores públicos del sector salud. But not only are they going to have doctors and nurses available uh, 24 hours, also the public um, um, officials that are assigned to the health care services have to be available also every, uh, for 24 hours a day. Va a haber... Este, relevos para que tengamos atención 24 horas. So he says they're going to have like a relay system where when one goes off, the other one comes on so that they will always have 24 hour service of um, the public servants that are assigned to the health care area. Y que logremos establecer la gratuidad so that we are able to offer the service free en los servicios de salud. related to the health care uh, services. Adelanto que se va 
I advanced that we're going to be talking to the uh, directors and the personnel uh, of the um, institutes of health because because also in the health institute, service will also be free. And they will get refunded according to their quotas. Uh, or quotas of cooperation is what they call them, he said. No. En el caso de este plan también es voluntario. He says this plan is voluntary. Ya la mayoría de los But the majority of the uh, governors, state eh, governors, han suscrito. have already subscribed to Los it. Convenios o están are, este, dispuestos are disposed a or convenios. have already signed, most of them. Eh, pasado mañana, But day after tomorrow, se les va a presentar a ustedes el plan general. We will present y the general uh, plan to you tomorrow. Suscribieron. And we will inform you no who has already subscribed uh, to the convening, uh, to the um, conventions that they uh, are, uh, like the bylaws uh, who made an agreement, a pact to agree with, the, to work with the uh, confines of the new constitutional law. Okay. Speculation. El jueves. So on Thursday, eh, el secretario de salud, el director del seguro, el del ISTE. So he said uh, they'll be coming on Thursday, the director of health, the director of ISTE. Director del Instituto de la Salud. The director of Institute for Health. Para el bienestar. Top. For well-being. All of them. También. So at that time, they're going to be informing which of the governors are uh, complying and which ones are not. He's going to uh, basically say the, um, the who's who. Y quienes, este, han decidido no participar. So he says, who, who has signed and who has decided not to participate? Y se va a respetar. And we will respect their decision. La voluntad de los gobernadores. No. And he will respect the will of the governors. Es, eh, eh, obligatorio no es por... La fuerza. It is not obligatory and it is not by force. Nosotros sí tenemos que cumplir lo que establece la Constitución. But we do have to comply with what the Constitution says. Y la nueva ley. And the new law. No podemos eh, tener una Constitución que... So we cannot have a Constitution que establece el derecho del pueblo a la salud that establishes the right of the people to health care, a law that speaks of free, freeness of uh, health care, y en la práctica, no hacerlo. but in practice, not do it, Sería incumplir. that would be non-compliance with the law. Entonces, nosotros lo vamos a hacer. Eh, y desde luego que va a costar. And he said, and we are, of course, going to comply. And it will cost us. No solo es eh, un asunto económico. But it's not only an economical matter. Les diría que, como no se permite la corrupción, 
And I would say to you that because corruption is not permitted anymore, vamos a ahorrar muchísimo en la compra de medicamentos, lo estamos haciendo. We will be saving a lot when we purchase medications, and we're already doing that. Um, pero sí se requiere de un cambio de mentalidad. But it does require a change of mentality. Se requiere de este, enfrentar inercias. And it means confronting inertias. Resistencias. Resistances. Pero tenemos que garantizar. But we have to guarantee it. Que mejor. We have to guarantee that it gets better. The system of public health. Bueno, y eh, Miguel, eh, también tengo muy en cuenta que no debo de empezar, no debemos de iniciar obras que no se vayan a terminar. But also, I understand very clearly that I should not start work that I will not be able to finish. And he means during his six-year term. And the reason he's saying this is because somebody before this had asked him, you know, um, you're, you know, you're taking on a lot of work. Is it possible that you're taking on too much and you're not going to be able to finish? And so this is his response to that question. Does <laughs> Traición. And he says, and I do have that pressure. Aquí volvemos a lo mismo. So here we go back to the same thing. Nos ha, ha ayudado mucho la Secretaría de Defensa. And the Secretary of Defense has helped us a lot. Eh, estoy seguro que vamos a terminar el aeropuerto. But I am sure we are going to finish the airport. El 21 de marzo de 2022. On the 21st um, of March in the year 2022. And he says, and we will resolve the problem of the actual saturation or the saturation of the actual airport, um, which He's um, saying they, they plan to resolve this problem. Okay, give me just a moment. I'm trying to fix something here. Kind of hard to do. Uh, let me see. Okay. And I'll move it over, Ted. Because I feel like um, the picture is just way too small. Uh, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Sorry, guys, it's a little annoying, but my uh, picture seems to be uh, not cooperating here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, okay, this is stuff I hate. Um, okay. There it is. Um, we'll just do it like that. I think we just make it smaller. One moment, excuse me, just a little moment, because it's driving me bananas. Okay. Um. There's not a lot of control here. Jeez. Okay. Okay, there it is. All right. Um, let's go to transition and no more stupid. Okay. 
But he said it was also provoked. Porque se dejó de dar el servicio. Because we stopped giving the service. Excuse me just a moment. All right. Um, there we go. En Toluca. Oh, in Toluca. Hubo toda una campaña. He said they had a total campaign. Y hasta por eh, micrófono, por las bocinas de los aviones, se decía, este, hay demora porque eh, ya es mucho el tráfico aéreo. So he said, on the, uh, when they were, um, uh, sometimes in the airplane, that they would hear uh, the um, um, personnel of the airplane say that there was delays because there was too much um, saturation in the airport. Pues sí, porque cerraron. Toluca tenía posibilidad And so, yes, because they closed the Luca airport. De eh, transportar. Tiene. Okay, so they're changing the, the topic here. So um, we'll go ahead and make a different video about uh, this topic. Um, because um, actually this this is more about the uh, airport airport stuff, which was also very interesting, but let me see. Toluca. Because, um, hacer un problema. Y no olviden, se terminaba Texcoco. So this was where they, they wanted to build a, uh, airport in the middle of some boggy land in, uh, in a lake. <laughs> They tried to dry up the lake, but it was still sinking. And they were going to be paying themselves a few million dollars, some people that they gave contracts to, uh, well, a lot of money, to keep it from sinking every year, which it was sinking about a meter, which means three feet every year. And imagine the landing airplanes landing on that boggy uh, soil um, that was covered now with cement it was just a catastrophe waiting to happen. But they, what they intended to do was um, they intended, they, uh, their intention, according to uh, what the president said here, was that they wanted to uh, close up the uh, airport and turn it into like a little mm, Santa Fe, like a bunch of little stores. Um, and so they had already uh, planned to make money that way and uh, convert the airport, which was the property of the government, into something that was private for themselves. And, um, you know, they, they were like buying the rights to put their businesses in there. So they had already planned this. So they um, dried up a lake, killed a bunch of uh, flora and fauna, um, destroyed a few mountains trying to uh, fill it in, uh, displaced a bunch of people off their land so that they can, um, you know, get it for themselves and, and uh, make money when they sold it back to the government. There was all kinds of illegal uh, trickery going on there. But anyway, um, they were able to finally beat them, and it is in uh, progress. And so that should be done as well, um, which is very good because uh, the way they had designed the other airport, it was designed so that the uh, planes, if they would have uh, put the the uh, airport where they planned to, it was designed so that they would uh, not be able to run the other airport because it would crash, the, the planes would crash if they took off from the runway at the other place. So they, they basically were trying to make it impossible for the other airport to run. So what he did was he actually um, is using the existing airport 
and the naval airport that was there and they merged them together and so now there's going to be extra runways and the other airport will continue to run too and the Toluca one so there's going to be like three airports instead of uh, instead of having just three uh, runways, they're going to have a bunch more. <laughs> so it's going to be really wonderful uh, for the um, airlines and the people to get better deals. You know, there's going to be a lot more places to land, less uh, risks of injury and plane crashes and all that. But anyway, um, so this, this was a very uh, interesting video to me because... He talked about how he's going to put them on blast. Uh, all these uh, governors that um, are bent on um, uh, continuing to rip off uh, the funds that belong to the people and denying them their rights to education and medical care. Oh, and that's the other thing. They're also trying to not... Uh, allow the funds to go to the students so that they can later uh, try and say the funds came from them. So they're blocking the uh, scholarships and the funds that are supposed to be going to the students. So there's a lot of, uh, um, you know, corrupt officials that are still in office, but, you know, they're going to be put on blast. And if um, they want to have a chance at staying in government... Although it's probably not as much fun for them anymore because they were so used to just being able to steal hand over fist and now it's going to be a lot harder. And um, uh, and if they get caught doing it, it's considered a grave crime and they would go to jail without right to bail while they're being processed. Um, just there's already a few officials uh, that are incarcerated, uh, that were not allowed to have a bail, you know, while they, while they wait. Um, so there's, there's a lot of good things happening in Mexico and, oh gosh, it would be nice if it could happen here too, but yeah, fat chance. We're not really a democracy. We're more of a plutocracy. The rich people govern. So anyway, what can we do? See you later. Bye.